You know, there are many people today who believe that in order to become a Christian, that you need to do certain things. You need to, you need to pray, you need to read your Bible, you need to go to church. But Jesus himself said no, that he was the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. We don't become Christians simply by going to church, nor do we become Christians simply because we are people of passionate prayer. In fact, it is said today that nine out of ten people in our world pray regularly. But if prayer was an indication that you are Christian on your way to heaven, then Jesus would not have made this statement, a statement found in Matthew chapter 7, beginning in verse 13. Jesus said, Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is that way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. You see, if people are saved simply because they pray, then Jesus would have made that statement this way. He would have said, wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to life, and there are many who go by it. But narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to destruction, and there are few who find it. You see, prayer is something that every single Christian should do, but it is no guarantee that you're a Christian on your way to heaven. Take these religious leaders, for example, in the Lord's day. Remember these Pharisees and these scribes? The Bible says that they prayed three times a day. They fasted twice a week. But you know, it was to these religious hypocrites that Jesus Christ gave some of his most scathing words. In fact, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 23, these words about these religious men who prayed often. He said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of dead man bones and all uncleanness. Serpents, you brood of vipers, how can you escape the condemnation of hell? Friends, those are scathing yet searching words. And they remind us that a person can pray and not be on their way to heaven. In fact, you may pray passionately for yourself and for the needs of others. But you see, if you've not repented of your sin and received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, friends, there's no guarantee that you're a Christian and no guarantee that you are on your way to heaven. In fact, it was Jesus who said, I am the way the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. For whosoever believes in the name of the Lord, the Bible says, shall be saved. There is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. That saving name, that saving life, is the person of Jesus Christ. He alone saves. It's not what we do, but accepting what he has done for us. And my prayer is that the Spirit of God would take the Word of God and change you with it today.